loves. Happy Sunday to you. And look at these angels. They're so cute. So today I'm working with all kinds of fun vintage papers and I'm working on an 8x10 MDF board, all four of them. And I'm going to be putting all of my papers down with my matte medium, my deco art matte medium that I typically always use in most all of my projects. And I'm just going to randomly put down these papers. I don't really have a plan. I do know that I want the wings to show up with the vintage papers. So I kind of have that in the background, but I'm trying not to think too hard about it because I want it to kind of organically develop. And that's usually always the best when you're creating. So here I've got all of my papers down and I've used some vintage paper, um, vintage wallpapers in there as well, so it adds just a little bit of interest. And now I am using my um, Wing and a Prayer stencil, and I will use that on all four pieces for the body and then for the outline of the wings. And I use different wings, but I use it as my guide. And I always say, use your stencil as your guide. And I'm just going to fill in my, my um, <clears throat> stenciled in body here and just make it um, bright white. And I will kind of change it up a little bit on all four pieces. But in general, all of the um, techniques that I do are pretty much the same in all four pieces. So now I'm using Silhouette uh, One Stencil. And really what I'm trying to do, the flowers aren't going to show up too much, but what I'm looking for is texture and interest and just something to help move the eye around um, as we begin to add the layers. So now I'm, I'm just sketching out with a um, ink tense pencil. And the reason I'm doing that versus say a permanent marker or a pencil is because when I get that paint up next to it I want it to kind of fade out and blend in just to add to the shading of the overall piece and I do kind of exaggerate the wings a little bit just add to it but I that's I always say use your stencils as your guide because it helps you not have to think too hard it helps the process go faster which is is really important when you're creating because when you have an idea and things are flowing you just want to go so i am mixing my deco art fluid acrylics with some gesso and um, the reason that i'm doing that i'm not using any glaze or anything like that is i want it to be really chalky really scratchy flat um, no shine or anything like that super super um, kind of uh, rustic feel and I'm dipping part of my brush in my paint and part of my brush in my gesso so that I have this kind of uh, marbly mixed uh, paint effect as I lay it down onto my substrate and I will put a little bit more teal on my paintbrush when I go around the edges of the wings and that kind of thing just to give it some darker highlights and now I'm just going back with more teal around the edges just to start adding my shading and my interest and in bringing the focal point in so now you can see how I've done that with each one each one's wings are just a little bit different a little bit different color um, just a little bit of variety so now I'm coming back in. I've taken some raw umber fluid acrylic and just water. And again, the reason I'm not using glazing medium is because I want it to be really scratchy and rough. The angel is really soft. The wings are, are um, gentle, but the rest of it is really kind of rustic and um, just kind of uh, industrial feeling. <clears throat> Have to excuse me, I do have a cold that I've been fighting all week long. So now I'm just going back and adding some gesso to my lovely little angel body and really kind of sharpening up some of those edges. 
and now I'm just going to add my shading. And these projects are really quick. Um, that's why I did all four on camera. Um, there, there's not a whole lot of detail to it, it just went really fast. And I'm adding my details to the angels, like her arms, her neckline, um, kind of sharpening up her face and all of the edges, her, her dress. <clears throat> now I'm adding some collage elements. I just painted some papers and cut them out into triangles to, to form the banner. And then each angel will have a different um, collage element, a bird, a butterfly, a flower, um, just how whatever felt right for her. They each have their own personality. And now I felt like the outside edges needed a little bit more interest. And so I'm stenciling in with some raw umber on my pattern um, six stencil, I believe it is, pattern five stencil. And then I'm going back over either with my finger or a cloth and just kind of wiping it back so that it's really soft. And I'm just kind of feeling my way around to see <clears throat> where I want that stenciled area around her, just to kind of keep the eye moving. I kind of keep it equal um, all the way around. And now I'm coming back in and shading my collaged elements. I'm also shading those outside stenciled areas again I'm bringing that black to the outside edges to balance the piece out and to keep the eye moving. And so I wanted to add just a little bit more of a rustic feel and it needed a pop of white because white and black are always neutralizing. It always kind of brings everything together, brightens things up. And so I use my palette knife and just some gesso and just lightly um, put a little bit of a drag on my um, palette knife across, across her, her dress in certain areas. And um, she is almost done. <clears throat> So I'll give her some shading around the edges to finish her up <clears throat> and then we'll go real quickly through the rest since we've it's all basically the same process well except for this step so in the previous piece I put the gesso down first the stencil gesso area and I decided to change that because I wanted that outside the outside edges to have a little bit more interest and so I did the gesso stenciling over the top of the paint instead of underneath. And I liked the effect. I liked how it turned out. It was more visible and it gave a little bit more interest to each piece. All of the stencils that I'm using will be listed on the blog. And today the stencils are on sale. The sale will start today. My I only have two sales a year and this is one of them and so stencils will be on sale and then workshops and prints on wood all kinds of good stuff okay so this one this piece here I did some stenciling underneath and you can see how light it is so I decided it took me a minute I'm like should I or should I not and I decided to go over it with the uh, stenciling with the gesso on top. And I'm so glad I did because I loved how it turned out. And now I'm just doing the same technique, raw umber and water and a wash. Now 
And so we'll continue to do this same process throughout each piece um, and you'll get to see them all finished. But um, I hope that you hop on over to the blog and take a look at what's on sale and the coupon codes and all the products I use today and everything's there. And take a look and see if you can get some good gifts, some stencils, some workshops for the holidays, all kinds of goodies. And um, I hope that um, you enjoyed this project today. And if you did, you can subscribe and like to like my channel. And stick around for um, my story at the end. I share about why I ch chose um, the words that I did. And that one of these, this one that you're actually looking at right now, the pink grateful angel is going to be free with purchase during the sale. It'll be a print, just a regular print that you can frame and it will be free um, to you of those who purchase um, during the sale. So I hope that you can take advantage of that too. And that grateful word is, um, what I share about at the end of the video.
happy Sunday my friends look at these cuties okay I'm gonna try and get them all in the picture so I tried to I show pretty much the entire process with this one this was the first one that I did and I actually think this one's my favorite although I like you know as you go through you kind of learn a few things or you like oh I like that but not that um, I love the wings I like these two wings the best I think well I don't know they're all good they all have their special things which is what I love so um, I talked through all the process and products and everything um, but look at how cute this is probably my least favorite just because of the coloring but once I got the the umber on there it toned it down a little bit but um, I wanted to do just some like you know turquoise and blue and just a variety of colors but so so cute so this says grateful this is joy this says hope this says courage and today I wanted to um, I'm gonna be giving out this print this one that says grateful um, <clears throat> as a free gift so um, the sale starts today in the shop and this is going to be free to those who who purchase and the details are going to be on the blog um, but I just wanted to say how grateful I am for you and for this community and for those of you who love and support me and send me all kinds of encouraging words and who order and who are loving the workshops I'm just I just can't tell you how grateful I am every day for this community and for what you mean to me and um, as the holidays are here and you're watching this now as Thanksgiving if you're in the US has passed um, I hope it was a good one but I know that the holidays can be hard and I have experienced those alone holidays and um, we can find things to be grateful for even in those those hard times and those the holidays can be really really hard but we can create our gratefulness we can create the um, atmosphere that we want if we choose to and I know I've told you this story before but as um, a single mom the kids would we would um, alternate uh, you know on holidays and so there were many many holidays where I was by myself and the first few were just terrible <laughs> um, I cried a lot and then I said okay enough of that and I decided to to make my own traditions my own um, gratefulness my own family when the kids weren't with me and so I just started inviting anybody and everyone who didn't have a place to go to, and it was uh, just a jumble of people um, young and old and I was in a little tiny apartment and we blocked off doors and put out tables and it was chaos and it was wonderful it was absolutely wonderful and I created this family of people that um, filled me and that we were able to support each other in our situations and we found our gratefulness and so as you're working through the holidays or at any day for that matter you can choose um, your situation you can choose to be grateful and find something to be grateful and step outside of your comfort zone and help others be grateful too and so this is free to you when you make a purchase through the sale um, and again all the details will be on the blog so um, let me get a few details out of the way before I close this out so um, this week starts I have two sales a year and I said that last week I believe but let me just um, show you guys so I just want to show you real quick um, of course stencils are going to be on sale um, all of all the all the new ones all that these my stencils are in such bad shape um, but stencils are going to be on sale workshops are going to be on sale um, and I think I have them at 30% or for I don't remember 
there's too many things going on but I also want to show you the prints on wood that are going to be on sale too and so they come in all different sizes so this is an 11 by 14 let me see if I can show you how they come so that's an 11 by 14 this is an 8 by 10 and they're really reasonably priced and they're really great for gifts these little ones the 4 by 4s are great for teachers and co-workers and um, stocking stuffers and different things like that and then I've got some really fun holiday I've got all my regular holiday ones out but I've got some really fun with some plaids that I cut out and um, uh, just so much fun and I use all of these and I've got a picture I'll have a picture in my um, blog post of how I decorate with these I tuck the little ones into my Christmas tree and I put these on the mat and I stack them and put them on the mantle and just lots of fun so I wanted to show those to you real quick just because sometimes it's hard to see get an idea of what they look like on the in the shop and then of course all my originals this is just one that I grabbed quickly off the wall all my originals are going to be on sale and um, there's all different kinds of sizes and styles and everything um, available so I hope um, every day so today is um, stencils are on sale I think and then Monday and then Tuesday um, so I hope that you can grab some goodies um, and feel some gifts and maybe gifts for yourself uh, workshops are great during the holidays when you have you know the family is asleep or downtime or whatever you can pop in a video and kind of tune out <laughs> that's what I do anyway <laughs> all right loves so I just wanted to quickly share that with you and um, check out the blog for all the details and the coupon codes and um, just remember that how grateful I am for you um, for your love and your support and also remember that there is always something to be grateful for I know that I know believe me I know that sometimes it's hard to even think about something to be grateful for uh, I get it 100% um, but we can choose to change our, our, our perspective, our attitude, our focus. And a lot of times that happens when we are able to help others and um, show others how to be grateful, how to love, how to encourage, all of those things. All right, loves, I hope your Thanksgiving, if you celebrate it, it was awesome and I um, hope you grab some good stuff in the sale and I hope that you always always know that you are loved. Have a good Sunday.